guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick little swatch party video. I just got my ColourPop Fall Edit Palette. Can't even remember what the palette is called. And I totally had no intention of buying this one, but the swatches really got to me. And I was very happy to note that I'm not the only YouTuber on the planet that fell for the adorable shades as well as the packaging of this palette. Plus, they're so affordable, so they always get me. It says, I like how you roll. It's a sushi reference. Okay, this is called the Good Sport Palette, and here is what the packaging looks like. It's kind of adorable. I don't even really like cheetah print, but oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm living for this life. And here is what the palette looks like. It kind of looks like the Yes Please palette a little bit. That's kind of what I learned from showing you guys my entire ColourPop collection. Once I held up every single palette, I was like, okay, they're all starting to look the same here. Like the yellow gold in these two. So that's the I Think I Love You palette. And then that's the new one. They're pretty freaking close. So that's the thing, like when you see them, they look so different, but once you start comparing them next to each other, it's like, wait, did I just buy the same, you know, shades? So I do like these new ones because they have the shades on the actual palette itself. You don't have to like flip flop them around. I do like this formula. It reminds me of their regular formula. I was really loving the Kathleen Lights Zodiac palette formula. But here are, so not these two, but here are the first four shades. We have Wild Out, Hookie, Rookie, and Sista. Sista is like one of my favorite shades to wear in the crease. This palette is also giving me a little slight bit of the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I love all the berry references. And so yeah, okay, so I'm going to swatch the... Gold shade again, which is called Licious. We have High Hopes, Reckless, and Trooper, which is like a beautiful mustardy yellow shade. There they are. These shades almost swatch better on my skin tone. Because I saw the color pop swatches and I was like, ooh, I don't know if those shades are going to work for me. And then the last row, this is the reason I bought the palette. It's this shade called EBB. So we have Hooked. Trophies, EBB, and Flow. Pretty. There they are. Sorry. I'm just going to turn. <laughs> so here are all the shades of the new ColourPop Good Sport. I mean, they're calling this their fall palette, so I'm guessing they're going to have like a Thanksgiving launch as well as a Christmas launch. I just wanted to show you those shades and then I didn't get a chance to swatch the Kathleen Lights Zodiac palette in a video so I'm just gonna swatch that for you guys as well so this is what the Zodiac palette looks like this is the inside again like I said you feel like those shades kind of start repeating themselves so if I hold these two up I think you'll realize some of those purples kind of repeating themselves. So that's kind of what you have to watch out for. I know a lot of people just collect ColourPop, which is kind of what I do as well. I collect their palettes. But man, for a while it was just really like, Karen, why do you keep buying them? They're so similar. So these are the first four shades from the Kathleen palette. And these are all named after star signs. And it was weird too, because she was kind of saying like, I would have preferred this shade for this star sign, but ColourPop already had a shade similar to that, so I just designed this one instead. So that first shade is the Aries, and we have the Taurus, the Gemini, and the Cancer. So the next ones we have are the Leo, the Virgo, the Libra, and the Scorpio. I was pretty disappointed in the shade from my star sign, which is the Capricorn. And... I really don't think the Pisces swatches as well as everyone thought it would as well, which is also disappointing. So there's um, the Sagittarius, 
the Capricorn, and then there's the Aquarius and the Pisces. And I feel like people bought this palette for these two shades and they're not that exciting to work with at all. It's definitely not ColourPop's strong suit. So they're all the swatches of the Kathleen Light Zodiac palette. This one I have played with quite a bit. I don't even know if I'm going to review this palette because like I said, it's just not one of my favorites. I kind of bought it because I'm, I'm back on like supporting Kathleen Lights. So yeah, I don't know. Just thought I'd swatch it for you guys. Let me know if you had a chance to pick up either of these palettes and what your thoughts are on them. Also, let me know, you know, how your day is going and I'd love to chat to you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for catching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.